So, there is a show that I just found on Hulu. It is called Decadence. I know neither one of you... I know, Rizzy, you said you've heard of it. Um, David, you just don't know about it. This show, it's a little older. It's like early-ish 2000s level anime there. But it's actually really good. This show is literally... Uh, God Eater, Attack on Titan, hell, not even an anime, but Pacific Rim, and pretty, um, what's that, uh, Lagurin, you know that Lagurin one where they're, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about, yeah, yeah, so it's like that, all mixed into one fucking anime, so essentially, and I, like, I just put it on to put it on, and then I started watching, I was like, this shit is goaded, so, essentially, like, this little girl, it starts off pretty much with this little girl, um, whose father is fighting like these monsters i I forgot what they're i I forgot what they're called but they're just like aliens on the planet they're like aliens that people have to fight just to survive Mm -hmm. um her father ends up dying nothing too spoiling there but her father dies i mean she grows up and you have a class of different people so you have like the gears are warriors and you have like tankers which are people who support the fighting they load ammo work on gear fix the 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 fortress now this fortress is called decadence it's literally a mobile fortress that drives across the planet constantly with people living in it it's a city that that moves and then whenever fucking monsters get too close to it or there's a giant catastrophic monster they send out the warriors and they have these little things where um they have these like tanks on their back that whenever you shoot at the monster the monster um explodes this field it's like a force field that makes gravity um, like non not non-existent, like non-existent. Like you start floating. These tanks, what they do is they have like fuel in it that allows you to float and maneuver in the air. So like Attack on Titan, hmm. like it allows you to maneuver in the air. And they have these arms, like these arm cannons that have needles on them. What these needles do is they, when they shoot them, it shoots a needle at the monster and it bleeds blood out. They're like green blood, and then it gets sucked into their tank that keeps refueling, <laughs> refueling their their tank on their back. Um, and pretty much that's how they move around. They fly, they shoot things. It's kind of like Attack on Titan with the swords and like with the fucking, um, the rig gear or whatever it is where they shoot and like, you know, it's Mm -hmm. fucking crazy. But come to like the thing that really, the thing that really got me to this show that made me like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit, this is crazy. And this would be a little spoiler-y, but I'm not really giving you too much information except for the world building of it. Um... Apparently, like, a thousand years ago or something like that, human beings destroyed the planet. And, makes sense. Um, makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. They destroyed the planet, and in order for them to maintain who they were, there was, like, an artificial intelligence or an AI system that came down and said, discard your human bodies, I will put your brains into machines, like robots. Like, tiny, they're tiny little chibi robots, Right. So they, it showed, like, a little animation of it, like, something kind of funny, but, like, humans would go into a machine and come out a robot, go into a machine, come out a ro- like, a tiny little robot, yeah. like, would throw their bodies away, and they ended up living in this giant spaceship right above the Earth, and there, and then it just showed all these little robots running around, doing things, doing blah, 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 this is going on, and then these robots, like, live forever, they just fill up on that, that, uh, that, like, blood, or, I guess, of the fucking, mm-hmm. of the, the aliens, will come to find out. So Decadence is a video game. Decadence is a video game created by the robots and are only allowing the humans to be able to live on the sphere on the Earth so they can log in, join the fighting that's going on, and log out at the end of the day. But the humans are still... Humans are the NPCs, but they're real. They're Hmm. like you and me. They Um, don't even realize it's a game. And they don't even realize it's a video game to these people. And the robots, the system, is creating the monsters and throwing them up on the planet. Recycling them and throwing them up on the planet. I hate it. Just to play a video game. And then these humans are just like, don't know. They're just fighting for their life every day. Yeah. And they have no idea that the people that sometimes that they're fighting alongside are video game players. They're (laughs) SAO players. Like, they're fucking going in there. I was just about uh, to ask, like, what's the plot of this? But th- it he, seems he, like it doesn't matter. Ruin it for us, <laughs> because... Right? Like, that, that wasn't no, the biggest no, blow, no. was it? That, that wasn't the... I mean, that was, like... That's something that really made me go, like, holy shit. Like, this... That's crazy. Like, it was, a, it was a twist, but it's about how they figure out how they stop the system. It's mm-hmm. about all that stuff. So I didn't really spoil how the story goes. There is a plot. Okay. Um, there is a plot. It's about, I mean, you know, fight the power that be, right? Hmm. Um, but 
you know, it, it really shows you the protagonist is the little girl. Obviously, she's the main character. Her dad dies. That's the first episode of the fucking thing. So, you know, and then it shows her older later on in life and her arms all cut off and shit. And she wants to be a warrior. But, you know, whatever. Um, but I don't it's more about the journey. You see how like it progresses with the humans and then you start meeting the robots and like the little robot systems. Uh, robots don't even want the humans on the planet they just use them for the video game mm -hmm. um and they're literally protecting them with a dome that drives with decadence like with fresh uh, air if they take that dome away everybody would die on the planet um yeah. jesus christ it, this is it's fucking, like a whole mind fuck it's <laughs> fucking, it does, it's fucking it does, crazy but then it does it does get monsters. to a point you will get to a point where like people start kind of you know getting hit getting game right yeah um and so that really isn't spoiling like how they figure it out and what they do and like stuff and that's like when that the plot happens. begins though and that's pretty much pretty much when the plot begins mm -hmm. uh for that but um there's some great characters in it i mean the the action and the fighting is pretty late it's like it's like attack on titan fighting mm -hmm. like they're all flying around in the air cutting monsters down shooting needles at them like doing crazy shit like I mean, it's, it's really fucking good. And then the, the Fortress Decadence is, like, uh, the reason why I said uh, Pacific Rim, it turns it, it's like its final defense. If there's a giant fucking monster, most of the time people are fighting, like, Velociraptor-ish size monsters. Mm. Um, but if there's a giant one that's, like, level four, stage four kaiju type of shit, the, the Fortress itself turns into a giant rocket arm that, like, fucking punches it and it explodes. So, um... So I get big picture... It's like a video game. The the robots are the grandmaster of it all, and yeah. they're feeding off of the the blood that the humans are getting from killing the monsters. That's I'm getting that picture. Yeah. What's driving the humans, other than to save their own lives, to kill the monsters and collect the blood? I mean, so, so their fortress runs off of the blood of these monsters. Gotcha. Okay. So it's all about survival. Like their it's like fortress, a resource to them. It's a resource. Yeah. Okay. So their blood, their blood was found to have like natural basic minerals and elements in it that allow, which were engineered by the robots to make them figure out that they needed that blood to get the blood to use it for their fortress. And it's a fucking loop, man. Like, because these monsters aren't natural, aren't natural beings. They're mm -hmm. not natural to the planet. The, the robots, the system created them through organic, natural, like, um, growth shit. And they grow them underground. So, I mean, oh, they... So, wait, wait. If, if... Don't they want to keep the humans alive if it's a video game? You said what? Don't they want to keep the humans alive anyway? You, so, they want to keep the humans alive to add that NPC. So, imagine us, right? Imagine if we went into, like... Elden Ring or any any yeah. any GMMORPG without any ad, without any ads or fucking NPCs and it was just us roaming around doing nothing you know like it'd be kind of lame you want like the interaction side missions you know stuff like that yeah um and that's how they're treating the human beings but they call them bugs they don't they think they're bugs to the system they don't they don't care about them they don't there's they're nothing to them you know so like. They, there's the most strong warrior class is called the Gears, but people don't know that the Gears are actually robots in their avatars. Mm. And they're like, why are these people the strongest fucking things ever? They get hit and they keep getting back up. Like, they're these supernatural fucking monster fighters, but they're really just like, you logged into a video game, like any one of us that will get respawned. Oh, so the robots yeah. can log into the video game and be humans and fight the mm -hmm. monsters along... Okay, all right. I thought it was more like a like a planetarium where they're looking and watching the humans fight the monsters. No, they they legit plug in. The robots plug in, and then they come. They they show up in their avatar, their human avatar, mm. and go and fight. And they're like, "Fuck yeah, let's fucking get it!" <laughs> yeah, Yo, And then they fuck it with the knows. humans because the humans are real. Knows. Wow. Nobody knows. Do the robots that. know? Like the regular robots who are logging into the game, do they know the humans are real, or do they think yes. they're actual NPCs? They know they're real. So they're just sitting there fucking around with their care. lives. Okay. I mean, they, okay. they they do fight. Don't get me wrong. There was never it was never a deep dive into showing like how the gears treated the humans. Mm -hmm. It was more a lot of camaraderie. So like the warriors always fought and protected each other, even if like they knew their NPC. Like so uh, how I how I kind of got it from playing MMORPGs before and how they were kind of explaining it. It was more mm -hmm. that if they lose their avatar, that avatar is gone. Mm. Like, you have to get a fresh avatar, pay for a new avatar, like, all this shit. And, but when they were always fighting and the gears and the tankers were fighting together, because some tankers are actual fighters, 
um, they always protected each other. It was never like the gears. I mean, the gears did say like come suck, kind of like racist shit, where they'd just be like, "Look at these fucking bugs, like getting fucking washed." You know, they getting dog walked out here. Like we not, mm-hmm. we're not gonna get beat like that. But whenever they were fighting, they were always fighting together. Yeah, yeah, because um, this is your team. It's not like you're gonna let yeah. ghosts die but on purpose. It was, it's just like hella like funny whenever like you'd see the human side they'd show a scene where humans like we need to get out of here we need to fight that thing blah blah and the, you'll see the gears the robots that logged in they're like yo this is the craziest expansion pack i've ever seen in my life <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh snap okay, okay. so is yeah. this is it a comedy it's it's a it's a comedy and like action adventure mm-hmm. like blood and guts i mean these people are just trying to survive bro but okay. there's funny it's funny as fuck sometimes it has the moments, little I mean. the little robots are fucking hilarious they're like chibi robots like imagine like maybe up to your knee that's how high these robots are but they live forever as long as they keep injecting themselves with mm. the fucking serum or whatever um, which keeps them alive uh but there's more to the robot society like i'm not gonna spoil everything but there's more to the society um that the robots don't know about like their own people like their own government they, they don't, don't even know, know. I mean, yeah, that's, 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 that's for a life. So, so what's the name right. of the show again? It's called Decadence. So D-E-C-C-A Dense. D-E-N-C-E. When did it come yeah, out? A, Is it this it's season? It's a little older. I, I think it's one It's one season, 12 episodes. Like, the, the last episode is a time skip. Mm-hmm. So, and it's, everybody's older and, like, everybody's at, like, it's, it's you'll see. But. We'll see. Uh, yeah, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. It's I think it's only like twelve episodes. That's it. Nothing. It's not even a. It's not even a manga. Mm-hmm. It's just a, a actual anime, or what's it? What do they call it? Straight to anime. <laughs> straight to OVA. Straight to, no, it's a what's it called? Filler. Anime anime original. There you go. Oh, anime original. Interesting. Okay, we'll check it out. Decadence. Yeah. It's good. I'm telling you, it's really good. So.